why did Jesus rarely refer to himself as God's Messiah? During his ministry on earth, it may be surprising to know that Jesus rarely referred to himself as being the Messiah publicly. The word Messiah is interchangeable with Christ, the former being the Hebrew version of the Greek word, Christos, meaning anointed. As the New Testament was written in Greek, we most commonly know him as Jesus the Christ, or Jesus the Anointed. Why did Jesus make few public announcements that he was Israel's long-awaited Messiah? For example, while on a journey with his disciples, Jesus asked them, Who do people say that I am? Mark 8, 27. They responded, John the Baptist, and others say, Elijah, and others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. And he strictly charged them to tell no one about him. Mark 8, 28 through 30. We see at Luke 4, 4 that Jesus restricted the speech of demons who loudly referred to him as being the Christ. And demons also came out of many crying, You are the Son of God. But Jesus rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. Was Jesus trying to keep this a secret? Even when on trial before the high priest, Jesus refrained from making any clear statements regarding himself, other than referring to a passage in the Old Testament. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Matthew 26, 62-64 Here, Jesus referred to Daniel 7, 13 and 14, in which it was prophesied that the Messiah would ascend to heaven in clouds to be presented to God, would receive a kingdom, and would be seated on God's right hand. See Acts 1. 9 through 11 and Ephesians 1, 15 through 23. Jesus would return in this same way. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so. Amen. Revelation 1, 7. The reason Jesus remained cryptic regarding his role as the Christ is because his entire life was not his own testimony. Instead, he came to do his Father's will, and because he came to glorify and teach about his God, he knew God would work through him, and it would be God, not Jesus, who testified of him. This seems a bit confusing at first, but here's what Jesus said at John 6, 30-32. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. Jesus also explained, But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John, the Baptist. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bear witness about me that the Father has sent me, and the Father who has sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is they that bear witness about me. John 5.36-39 through 39. God's expectation was that by doing many miraculous works through his son Jesus, through his life and teachings, careful observers would see that he was the Messiah. This evidence would be based upon the Old Testament's writings and prophecies about him. The Old Testament prophets gave Israel all the clues they would need. There were some who did see the works Jesus did and successfully understood who Jesus was. Yet many of the people believed in him. They said, When the Christ appears, Will he do more signs than this man has done? John 7.31 Finally, a group of Jews gathered around Jesus at the temple and asked, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, 
Tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name bear witness about me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. John 10, 24 through 26. It is important to understand that Jesus was not a swaggering, boasting man, but was a humble man who perfectly did his Father's will. He did not come to glorify himself. Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. John 8, 54.